Hello Blender fans, this is a quick tip on converting edges into curves. I really hope this could be interesting for you. Have fun watching it. I sculpted this little object here very fast and my goal is to create something that snaggles around this, like a snake or a plant or that is growing that way, whatever. And the first thing that comes into my mind, of course, is a curve. But let's try a different approach. Add a plane and delete every vertex except one. Then switch to object mode and choose origin to geometry. Okay, and now enable snapping to faces. Press G and move this vertex to a special position like, yeah, like here. And it snaps to this object. Okay, and now comes a cool trick. Switch to edit mode and then hold the control key pressed on your keyboard and wherever you click now with the left mouse button the the last selected vertex is extruded you don't need to press e and extrude just select this vertex here the last one and hold the control key on your keyboard and press the left mouse button and turn your object around and with this method you can create very fast a number of edges that are wrapping around this object. Really nice method on doing this. Okay, just right to the top and we're done. And now the next step. Select this in object mode and then let's convert this mesh of course, it is a mesh, doesn't look like a mesh, but it's a mesh. Convert this mesh into a curve. So press Alt-C and select Curve from Mesh. And now, this is a curve. Can select these points here for the curve, move them around. But it is not a mesh anymore, it is a curve. And with this curve, we have quite a few possibilities. So select the Curve tab and choose Fill, Full. And now we only need to increase the depth of this curve. And you can see how it is growing and growing and increase the resolution. And yeah, this almost looks like a snake Enable the smooth option for this active spline. And here we go. And we can still select the different points for this curve and move it around. This doesn't quite match now, but we can change this. I still have the snapping feature enabled, so every point here snaps to the faces of the underlying object. Yeah, quite nice. And another possibility is you select one point and press Alt S and then you move your move the mouse and you can change the size of every point. Just like this. I really like this feature. So once you're happy with positioning and sizing of the particular points of this curve, perhaps this one size a little bit up. Yeah. Then you can again select this curve in object mode. And then you do the opposite operation. You convert the curve again into a mesh. And after that you can for example switch to sculpting mode and sculpt in some details for this mesh. But before I add some more vertices, I add a multi-resolution modifier, apply this, and now I will sculpt a little bit around. Have fun.
So I really hope you liked this tip and it was useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel, here's the link and support me on my Patreon. This would be really cool. See you soon.